In this video, we'll show you the latest updates in the Asset Cloud Office Security released in December 2021. This new, better Asset Cloud Office Security solution includes another layer of advanced protection using Asset Dynamic Threat Defense EDTD, and many other important improvements. By adding Asset Dynamic Threat Defense, we bring added value for customers and Microsoft 365 users through a product capable of detecting and eliminating sophisticated targeted attacks and never-before-seen types of threats. You can simply enable this protection by assigning a policy to users, groups or tenants. Go to the Policies tab, create a new policy and name it. Select the Target Type option tenants, users, team groups or SharePoint sites. Then in Settings part, turn EDTD on in the dedicated section and if needed define more settings. In Assigned to part, select the specific targets to which the policy will be applied. And that's it. You can view the detections by Asset Dynamic Threat Defense in various places in Dashboard. For example, in Exchange Online tab, you can see the number of EDTD detections out of all the detections in the Malware Detected tab. Or you can have a look at the detailed statistics of Asset Dynamic Threat Defense in a dedicated tab of the dashboard. And you can check the number of submitted files, number of detections or average analysis time. You can also check the Submitted Files tab of the logs. ECOS now offers new, extended reporting capability and users can be notified when an email was quarantined. When creating a report, the new wizard will offer several options. After naming the report, you can choose from Statistical Report or Mail Quarantine Report. In the next step, the admin can define groups or who will receive the report. In the last part, you can define how often and for what period it will be delivered to the users. And finally, click Save. After receiving the report, the user can choose legitimate emails and release them from quarantine if they were marked as spam. For malware and phishing detections, the report only serves as information. And finally, we are continuously enhancing the user experience by smaller facelifts in various parts of ECOS, like the more appealing icons next to the user status, or clearly visible detection types, and a specific icon for EDTD detections.